Hi, welcome to Bark Heart Bookshop, a video series about books and the drinks they inspire. My name is Elias, and today we're talking about Knight's Weird by Deborah Doyle and James D. MacDonald. This is the first in an experimental series here on Bark Heart Bookshelf. Each month we're going to be doing a bonus episode near the end of the month, and we will be talking about a classic work of science fiction, fantasy, and horror. So looking at some of our original cocktail recipes and also bringing in some classic cocktails as well. I'm really excited to be inaugurating this project this month with Knight's Word. I'm really excited about the books that we'll be talking about as we move through the rest of the year here and as we look forward to uh, 2024. She'll be here before we know it. Knight's Weird is the uh, story of Will Otison. It was originally published in 1992 and has recently been reissued as part of the Tour Essentials line that republishes and reprints uh, classic works of speculative fiction. I'm really grateful to the team over there for sending me a copy to review and to kick off this fun experiment for us on Barkhart Bookshelf. Knight's Weird, as I said, is the story of Will Otteson. He is recently knighted, and on the night that he is doing his penance before he's dubbed as a knight, uh, his father's wizard comes to him and says, you will meet death before you become the Baron of Rustenbury. And so now he has this uh, fate that looms over him, this prophecy that he's going to never become the, du the Baron of Rustenbury, he's never going to be his father's heir, and that he is going to die. And he finds himself moving through a medieval England, or Anglia, in the world of the short novel, and encountering strange creatures and really properly medieval magic. It's one of those medieval fantasies that actually feels properly medieval in conversation with works like Canterbury Tales or uh, Edmund Spencer's The Fairy Queen, while still being definitely a product of um, the 20th century and the late 20th century. It's really, it's a book that expands beyond that initial premise in ways that are surprising and exciting. There are twists that you'll start to see coming and then will become somewhat different. And there's this sense of mysticism that pervades this sense of the otherworldly as he travels across the countryside as a knight errant and a honorable knight serving uh, Duke and Luck. It's really a, uh, a book that reminded me a lot of the books that I loved when I was a kid, um, like the Arthur trilogy that we have supporting the book here, and just, as I said, properly medieval. And so I had a lot of fun with it. I do recommend it. Do recommend checking it out. It's short, about 182 pages in this edition. I read it over the course of two evenings and uh, enjoyed the real sort of enveloping glow of the lamplight as I was reading. So of course we have to have a drink. Our drink today is Dragon's Blood. And let's get started. We're going to start with an ounce and a half of apple brandy. Beautiful, lovely apple brandy. Really nice for the fall. Just sort of fruity and dry. Uh, a great base for a cocktail. Next, we're going to modify it with half an ounce of slow gin. This is going to be herbal and fruity, a little bit sweet, but still have that sort of bite to it as well. We'll get half an ounce of red wine syrup. Really easy to make this red wine syrup if you've opened up a bottle of red wine for dinner and you don't feel like finishing it all. Just mix equal parts red wine and sugar, store it in a bottle. It stores really well in the fridge and adds that sort of um, lovely wininess 
to cocktails and that bit of sweetness and weight from our syrups uh, in some really lovely ways. I would recommend a nice bold wine like a Shiraz for making a wine syrup. Certainly like a Pinot Noir uh, would work really well as well. So half an ounce of our red wine syrup and then half an ounce of our old favorite that Pratt Standard Ginger Syrup, bringing that fiery ginger. We do have, as all medieval stories ought, a nice big dragon that appears. There we go. Lovely, lovely, bringing that ginger heat, that fire. And to bring the heat just a bit more, we're going to add a bar spoon of the hot chili tincture. And if you splash a little extra in there, that's all right. Now we've got all of our ingredients in our mixing glass, and we are going to add ice. Remember, you always want to add your ice last to your cocktails and your mocktails. That's what's cooking the drink. It's immediately starting to melt. It's immediately starting to dilute and blend all of your ingredients, and you don't want to be distracted by a quest uh, and have to leave your mixing glass alone and find that you have a, a watery drink. Nobody wants that, not even the Daughters of the Sea. So we'll give that a nice stir for uh, 15 or 20 seconds there until your ice is about even with the level of the liquid in the mixing glass. Beautiful. Lovely. Get a nice large ice cube and put that in an old fashioned glass and then get our julep strainer into the mixing glass, that 1224 julep strainer, and strain over your ice. Beautiful. Set that aside, and you're all set. So there you have it. That's the dragon's blood inspired by Knight's Weird by Deborah Doyle and James D. MacDonald. Night's Weird is available again now. It's been out of print. It's coming back. It's really exciting. Properly medieval. Huge shout out to the Tour Essentials line for bringing these classics of speculative fiction to new audiences. And thank you for sending me this copy. I'm really excited to continue this series. I've got a link to snag this book in the description below. I have got links to various forms of social media to the manufacturer of this syrup, Pratt Standard, because we love it so well. And I would love to hear in your comments what books you would like to see us cover as part of this bonus series next. I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited to hear what you all want to see covered. And so, cheers. Hit that like button. Makes me so happy. Spread the word about this new exciting adventure we're on. Try the drink, let me know what you think, read the book, it's a great read for autumn, and until next time, cheers! <laughs>